Today we'll share a cool new collection of life hacks for DIY lovers. Are you out of handmade supplies but in urgent need of an embellishment? Don't worry, we'll show you how to make a cute yarn heart. Draw a heart on a foam food container. Cut it out. Wrap pink yarn around the template. Cut off the excess. Fasten the end. You can use this soft pink heart as a cute embellishment. Or attach a keychain ring to keep your keys on. We'd like to share another yarn life hack. Make a lovely keychain quickly and easily. Measure out the lime green yarn. Put on a keychain ring. Pull it up. Tie with the pink thread. Trim the ends. This eye-catching keychain will keep your keys safe and secure. Make a suitable cup coaster from wooden sticks. You can use either ice cream sticks or coffee stirs. Hot glue four sticks to shape a square. Attach two top stirs on the ribs to make a volumetric coaster. Add an extra one in the middle to make it stable. Cover the frame with the sticks. Hot glue one by one. We've got a flat cover. The marvelous coaster looks like a wooden raft. If you feel like recovering your old cork coaster, paint it bright. Mix some hues to paint the coaster. Cover half. We've chosen a turquoise tint. Paint the other half in a different color. We've used pink. Leave the middle strip unpainted. Let the cork texture be visible. When dry, add some details. Draw a polka dot pattern on the pink field. The funny coaster now looks like a stylized slice of a watermelon. We have tried to use plants for creating floral patterns in our previous tutorials. Let's continue these fascinating experiments. Take a bell pepper and cut it in half. Cut a bigger one. Choose peppers of different shapes. Dab it with a sponge dipped in acrylic paint. Paint it on white paper. You can dip it directly in the paint and get distinguished imprints. Now, take a flower. Dip it in the paint. Stamp it on the paper and get an intricate floral pattern. You can make your own scrapbook paper of any color in this quick and easy way. Can you paint cardboard without a brush or a sponge? Do you think it's impossible? We'll show you're wrong. Squeeze some acrylic paints on a piece of thick cardstock. Hold it by one hand. Spread out the paint with another piece by the other. You've got wide color strips. Change the pattern by smudging the paint. When dry, write a word with a permanent marker. You can write some text on the imprint. Use a thin brush and the golden paint. Shade the text with gold. You can use this simple way of painting to make a background for your handmade card or scrapbook. 
Oh, these color pencils are too pale. We can hardly see the picture. Let's solve the problem easily. Pour hot water in a glass. Submerge the pencils. Hold for a couple of minutes. Let's test. Perfect! They're as bright as ever. You shouldn't rush in a store to buy new expensive ones. This simple life hack will turn any pencils into an awesome art tool. Are you going to use rope for decorating? We'll help make it more interesting. Paint the rope in different colors. Place it randomly on a tray. Take acrylic paints of bright colors, golden and bronze tints, water, and a brush. Apply the paints in random strokes. Let it dry. Tape the ends to prevent fraying. The painted rope will make your design idea fresh and unusual. Now, let's decorate a blank wastebasket with cotton cord. Coil a snail applying hot glue. Attach it to the center of the bottom. Continue coiling. Add the glue in small portions. You can use cords of different sizes. To make smooth seams, wrap clear tape around the ends. Alternate the blank rope with the painted one. And continue with the thin cord again. You can decorate the entire inside or just the top edge, whichever you like. Well, the smartly decorated wastebasket is ready. You can keep your handmade supplies in it. Do you want to get a low-cost keychain in a rustic style? Let's make it from twine. Cut off twine in the same size pieces of about 10 inches long. Hot glue the wraps. Wrap them around with another piece. Shape a loop. Hot glue. Wrap the loop base. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the ends of a bunch of the twine cutouts. Twist them with your fingers. You've got a twine tassel. Hot glue the loop base again to attach the tassel. Cover the attachment place. Fasten the middle of the tassel. Decorate the keychain with beads. Secure with knots. Trim the ends. Put on the keychain ring and pass the beads through the loop. The lovely twine keychain will look marvelous on your handbag or backpack to complete your rustic style. This selection of various life hacks can help while creating paper crafts, making a new cup coaster, or recovering the old one. And if you make your mind to decorate something with rope, you'll know how to add a splash of color by using the painted cord. Write in your comments which life hacks you've used in your crafts. Subscribe to Troom Troom and create beauty quickly and easily. Click the like button if you liked the video. Ring the bell and be the first to watch a new project.